Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alondra Elizabeth. Um, in this video, I know I've already talked about like how I felt about my wind nail year and like my reflections on it and everything, but I wanted to talk, give like a timeline about what happens in the first year of law school. Because <laughs> a lot more things happened in that year that I didn't even think were going to happen. Because I mean, the point is I just didn't know what was going to happen in my first year of law school. So a lot of things came by surprise. And so I just wanted to go over a timeline so that you know. So first things first, you start with orientation. And I know this is something probably basic. Some schools, I think, do only a couple of days. I had a full week of orientation. So that's something to consider and actually something interesting one of the first one of the classes legal research and writing started in orientation so that's something of note i guess i didn't expect one of the core classes to actually begin during orientation but it did and so that means i think we had readings but it was like the blue book which you don't really i mean you don't really need to memorize or anything because you'll have that with you in practice and at school so it was just, but that was still something, right? You, I guess you actually have to pay attention <laughs> in orientation if that's gonna be the case at your school. Um, we also had headshots happen during orientation. And that was something that for your LinkedIn, for applying to jobs, a lot of, not a lot of jobs, but also applying to scholarships. Scholarships have asked me for headshots. So that's something that happened in orientation that is useful for the entire year. And then of course you have your classes and it like I we had four classes in my first year of first semester um contracts one civil procedure one torts which is just one semester and legal research and writing so those were the four classes that I had in my first semester I know that's different for sure in sc different schools other schools have like done it in different orders or like certain classes are just one semester while other ones are split into two and I've only had it for one so that's just something to note, but obviously we had classes and those began pretty immediately. You're expected to have read for class before getting to class. And like on the very first day, you should have read already. And that's just the way classes go for the rest of the year. Um, yeah, I mean, classes is its own subset, but classes obviously happened <laughs> during our first year of law school. And then midterms happened around October, I think. If you have them, I didn't end up having any my first semester, which is why I don't really remember exactly when they were, but that's something that comes into play, of course. St classes don't pause. You just have midterms along with classes. Um, and then there was finals, which happened in December. And then right after finals, you immediately have to start looking and applying for internships um, for your summer after first year of law school. Um, and that's just how that went. A lot of applications were due January 1st or we're, gonna, we're due in January. Some, I mean, I actually did, lost out on an application process because it was due December and I didn't know that. And that's when I had just started. So during Christmas break, you're working on writing sample resumes, your cover letters and all of that and I did post on my Instagram about that as I was going because I would recommend definitely starting early on that because it's so stressful to be trying to do that when you come back because when you come back in January for a second semester of law school like that's what that's when things go crazy um I did mention this in my video from my reflections about how second semester of law school I felt was just way harder and it was very different um, and that's just because once you come in, you're doing full swing classes. And in my class, in my school, we have five classes our second semester. So contracts two, civil procedure two, criminal law, criminal procedure, and legal research and writing. So those are the five classes that I had second semester. So you're doing full swing classes, you're doing full swing um, job applications until you get one, essentially. Thankfully, I was able to get one. I was able to secure mine around February, March. So I was done pretty early, but if you're not, like you're still you're still doing that. I knew people who are still doing it all the way up through the entire semester. Um, so that's just something that's happening. Also our like oral arguments slash moot court competition for first years. I think every school does this, but I think schools do it maybe in different times and in different ways. Um, but from what I've seen, most, most schools do do this, but that was happening for us second semester. So you're also preparing to do this like moot court competition 
in class and then this is fun but like the barrister's ball is in march and so you want to go to that i mean if you want to go to that but like that's just something else that you need to take into consideration when you're planning how you're doing school when you're doing applying to jobs preparing for the musical competition i know someone who didn't go to barrister's ball because they had fallen behind in school and they just could not take the night off because they needed to like be done so that again just something to be aware of midterms i think happened in march as well i did have a midterm or two my second semester um so like as you see like things just oof, things just keep going they don't stop and the moon competition itself happened in april but you started preparing for it in a month in advance and then if you were applying to the moon court team and again i don't know this depends on the schools but we had interviews right away um so right after the competition happened and then before finals happened so it was a, it was a mess because you're very stressed i was very stressed trying to you know finish that do the interviews um get starting getting ready for finals etc and the finals are in may and then right after that it's your um law review application and i think that is happens after finals in most schools that i've heard of which really sucks because again it happens immediately you have had almost no break since starting first year of law school um and that's kind of how i felt i know and then some people start their internships right away I had a two week break between finishing my finals and starting my internship, but that just depends. And I'm doing it for 10 weeks. I think the usual is eight to 10 weeks. I had to do 10 weeks because of the scholarship I got. And that's just kind of the timeline. And I think I talked too fast, but I just wanted to make sure I didn't forget anything that happened in the first year of law school. And yeah, I mean, that's, that's that. I'm going to be going over what I'm doing in the summer because, again, not as carefree of a summer as I thought it was going to be or that I envisioned, but that'll be a separate video because I don't want to mix them. But this is what happened in the first year of law school. This is kind of the rough timeline of everything that was just coming up, you know, and I think I did a pretty okay job of vlogging and showing when these things were coming up, but I just wanted to consolidate all of it. Let me know if you have any questions or if anybody watching graduated from law school is a law student and I missed something that happened in the first year of law school, let me know, but I'll put it in the comments down below so others can see it. Um, but yeah, school started mid-August. Uh, the second week of August was orientation and then mid-August was when classes started. We had Christmas break in December, we came back in January, and then we finished the year off in May. So yeah, that's the timeline. I uh, hope this is kind of helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.